this is Mark Wright here. We're in sunny Sydney, as you can probably tell from the quite picturesque backdrop of the Sydney Opera House behind me. It's one, what a terrible place to be having to do business. I'm here today with Mark Pollard, one of our leading distributors here in Australia. Mark, just tell us a little bit about your background. Well, Mark, I've uh, been a, a TAFE teacher teaching mechanical engineering for uh, a little over 30 years now. And uh, in addition to that, I've uh, had a business building race engines for around about uh, about 30 odd years as well. Uh, I was first introduced to Mitron back in 1997 when it came to Australia. And I must admit, I was very, very sceptical. But uh, a good friend that introduced me to the product made me uh, sort of test it for him and... I can tell you that I have a belief in the product. I was very sceptical to begin with, but the product did exactly what he said, and, and, and then are, some. What are some of your experiences with the product been over the last few years? Well, I've, I've had all sorts of problems with, uh, with race engines and so on, with uh, people that I associate with, uh, up to and including top fuel race engines. And we've been able to assist guys with these types of engines actually prevent their crankshafts from blackening. That's the term they use where they uh, essentially have so much friction that uh, they melt the bearings, blacken the crankshaft. Uh, ordinary engines, day-to-day -day people have been able to get much better fuel economy. Um, engines, I've experienced people that have actually had engines run out of oil, run out of water, and their engine still continues to run quite successfully. So you've done a lot of comparative testing with a lot of different products in the market. What sort, what sort of experience have you had there? Well, some very good ones. There, there are some brilliant products on the market here in Australia. And without doubt, I would suggest that all of those products, with the addition of Vitron, uh, just out of sight. Vitron improves the products immeasurably. Uh, the best of the products on the market, I, I think, would probably benefit from having Vitron added. Now you've, you've taken what is a, a pretty simple, from a scientific standpoint, comparative test of the cross axis machine. You've take, kind of taken it up a few levels in terms of what you do. Can yes. You talk about that yeah, sure. Uh, the, the cross axis machine, as we traditionally know it, is a fairly simple machine, but I wanted to try and get some data that was uh, perhaps a little better measured. So I modified my machine, uh, added a, a lever arm to it and weights that allowed me to, to very, very accurately determine the, the forces that were being applied. Uh, added to that the, uh, a timer so that I could actually run for a period of time measure the temperature and measure the wear scar that was actually generated. And from that I was able to put together a lot of data on all of the products that were available here in Australia both with and without Vitron. And invariably an improvement? Absolutely. Uh, all of the products improve with Vitron and it is without doubt uh, the best product I reckon around the place now. So in summary then, doesn't matter what kind of oil you've got in your engine, whether it's the cheapest stuff or the most expensive synthetic on the market, you need to be getting Vitron in your engine. Absolutely. I think the better quality oil you use in the, as a, a base oil, the better the Bitron will improve it. Uh, it's not an excuse to use a cheaper quality oil. I think the better the oil you use, the better results you'll achieve. And of course we've got the Bitron engine formulation goes in the engine, we've got the powertrain product that goes in the transmissions, differentials, gearbox, uh, hydraulic systems, whatever, and then we've got the fantastic fuel treatment products that clean the top end, clean injectors, uh, reduce the carbon and clean it around rings, reduce, you know, reduce the loss of power and performance, to, you know, loss of compression, all that sort of good stuff. Absolutely, and, and don't forget for the for the guys in Australia that like performance from their vehicles, especially the older vehicles, uh, anti-valve seat recession is, is very, very important because all of our fuels out here now are lead-free. Uh, we need something in there to actually assist in lubrication of the valve seats, and Vitron does that. Diesels as well. I mean, Absolutely. Also sulfur diesel. Even with them, um, as we go to more biofuels with the ethanol blends, uh, they're offering less and less lubrication. So 
you need to be using the bike on fuel condition, all those applications. Mark, thanks, thanks a lot for spending a little bit of time here. I know it's, it's really tough to come and spend uh, some time in such an ugly setting um, and in what, what is appalling weather. Have we got snow in Vancouver? I think there must be snow in Well, I'm really happy to, uh, to meet you, Mark, and I'm really pleased to be able to meet up with you here in Sydney. Thanks a lot, Mark, for showing us your, your lovely city. My pleasure.